Hey guys, what's going on? This is Ryan Fenners. Welcome back to the Fentertainment channel. A couple of videos back, I did a DIY Yeti wrap. I showed you how to create it and how to print it and apply it. I actually just stuck it on my koozie. I carried this thing everywhere with me. But it was a very matte looking finish and I wanted it real shiny. So I did a method that was created by one of the members of our DIY painted tumbler board on Facebook. So uh, Clay Johnson, better known as Sticker Stitch, he started doing a gloss finish using two extra Stolium. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Okay guys, I'm getting started with this project here and I have my koozie that I wrapped on the left. And this stand here is made by Mancrafting Chad over on the Mancrafting channel for powder coating cups. I'll put a link in the description where you can find that. Now I'm basically just spraying on 2X Rust-Oleum Clear. Not very heavy, just pretty light coats to begin with. Once I get to the oven, I go ahead and set it at 200 degrees for five minutes. Once we have that set, we go ahead and place the cup inside the oven and wait five minutes. Once five minutes is up, go ahead and remove the cup from the oven. Now just repeat this as much as you want to until you get the coverage that you like or the shine that you like. I did this twice and like I said earlier, I did it five minute intervals. Seemed to work the best for me. Okay, let's talk about ovens. The oven I have here, I bought used from a buddy of mine for 50 bucks. You can also buy these toaster ovens and turn them sideways. Are these Charbroil 110 volt electric smokers? These have about 505 cubic inches and plenty of room to do more cups than one. Also, they're only about 115 bucks online. I'll put a link in the description where you can find this also. So I know this is probably going to be one of the main questions. Is this safe to drink from? Here's a shot from a Rust-Oleum website where somebody asks, is it okay to put on a Crib. Babies tend to chew on the crib. Rust-Oleum says once it's fully cured from 7 to 10 days, it is okay and it's non-toxic. Guys, if y'all not making love to your cups, I don't think you have anything to worry about. So I just want to personally thank Clay Johnson for finding this method and doing some experimenting on his own outside his personal and his business life. You can find Clay over on Facebook at Sticker Stitch. I'll also put some links in the description below. Again, my name is Ryan Fenners and you've been watching the Fentertainment channel. If you haven't, please subscribe and also check out these other great videos. We'll see y'all later.